will start with the supplier portal now before we start with the supplier portal now this is the task so I'll go to procurement now this is the task basically uh, which has different set of roles so by default when you create a supplier account which all default roles that should be added to the supplier user account so this is the basic setup or I would say the only important setup in the supplier portal so there are different roles and different roles have different uh, use of it so like uh, if we say like supplier bidder so if a uh, supplier account have this rule then he can quote he can bid he can apply for auction same way the supplier customer service relationship then he can uh, manage the purchase order he can acknowledge he can uh, give the advance shipment notice then supplier demand planner that is supplier can manage the inventory and consign inventory so based upon the different rules a supplier can manage their own profile and likewise so whatever is checked over here by default when the account is created for the supplier portal uh, this all rules will default for supplier account now when we talk about all these rules uh, if you remember that when we created the supplier let me go to the supplier and I came over here in the contact part and I said that under, under the con we generally give the first name last name so if you see this we create the first name last name and we provide whether this is an administrative account or not we provide the email ID status of this user account and it is attached with which address apart from that this user account gets created automatically and these are the rules which will default based on our setup so just for example let me just create another contact so I can define whether this is an administrative contact or not apart from that I can define this I can link up this contact with the address and there is a checkbox called create user account so if I click on this so if you see this uh, notes over here when I hover this mouse as soon as I click over here this rules will be defaulting based upon the setups so whatever that has been enabled over here that will be defaulting over here in the role section okay and once I save and close okay email is required for the user account so I'll just enter some random now if you see this this user Kadir Shahid Kadir uh, right now it is not having a user account I already requested for the user account now if I click on edit and scroll down then username got created automatically and I can reset the password and if, if I reset the password the email ID which is registered over here system will send the notification on that same email ID Will this be a regular user in uh, security console or it's uh, only specific for portal? Uh, it will be uh, related to this portal only. I'm like this user ID you will be able to see it over here only. Uh, still, let me just uh, go it, to it security. Can log into with, so log in with that user. <coughs> yes, can, yes. Can you able to log in with that user? Just, yeah, yeah, of course. I can I will log in with that user but let me just go to security console and just so 
so you can manage that user from here as well. Add and remove the rules from here. Good. Okay. It's like any other user, right? Uh, there is no difference. It's like same as the other users, yes. Then this is uh, also considered as uh, ERP user, right? ERP user, but only the portal user. I mean, you will not be able to have any other, even if you give the rules, he will not be able to access uh, any of your system features, uh, same as employee. So let me just uh, log in with this user. I already created one user called Zayat Kazi. This is how the screen looks like from the supplier point of view. So depending upon the roles, this contract management and supplier portal, and under the supplier portal, all this task, if you see this, orders, agreement, shipment, deliverables that is related with contract management, concern inventory, creating the invoice, managing the invoice, view the payment history, negotiation, sourcing related things. Again, this is related to sourcing qualifications, product management, and his own profile. Anyone you can publish the news for all the suppliers. So just for an example, if I uh, go to home page and create one PO, I'm just duplicating the PO, I'm not creating the new one. And these are the like three options, whether you want acknowledgement with document and document schedule, or you want the acknowledgement, okay, within how many days. And I'm just submitting the PO. Right now I kept auto approval for everything. So 164072 is submitted for the approval. We'll wait for 5 to 10 seconds until it gets auto approved. Okay, so now status has changed from pending approval to pending supplier acknowledgement. And at that same point of time, if I go to the supplier portal, then it says that if an order requires your attention and the blue color acknowledges that this order requires the acknowledgement. This is how the supplier can view the screen. So the screen will be the same. You can just click on acknowledge to acknowledge the participation. So once you click on acknowledge, you have option like you can accept or reject this PO, okay? So when you can specify your own order number, that is, so supplier might have their own system and they might have a different ordering number. So based upon that, so you can reject or you can accept and I can specify my own supplier order number. So accept and will be accepted. Do you want to continue? I'll say yes. I'll just click on done and now if I, just to refresh this, if I go to home page and come again, so now the dashboard has disappeared, but even if I want to check the history, I can go to manage orders and I can, as a supplier, I can search what all orders needs actually assigned to me or uh, has been awarded to me. And at the same time, from the client point of view, if I just click on search again, the status will change. Okay, so now the status is open. So in same manner, if I go to the supplier portal again, and let's say I want to create shipment notice, I want to create ASN, so I can see this, that which PO is in how many lines, and I can create advanced shipment notice. I can say what is the shipment number, like let's say when I'm going to ship this, say by tomorrow, then expected receipt date is maximum by 16. And I can specify over here how much quantity I'm sending right now. So it could be partial, it could be full quantity. 
sorry it's uh, i cannot make the future date i'll just send partial quantity for the second line and partial for the last line and i can add the other details like bill of lading way bill whatever is applicable and once i enter all the details i can just click on submit so this is just an information right the actual shipment uh, is not yet done correct correct this is just a notice uh, to the vendor or to the client that shipment is going to come to your place so that you can make a space or arrangement in your warehouse if there is no space so you will be notified in advance that some shipment is coming to you and in so, so let's just uh, check now see this there is a shipped bar coming over here so if i click on view details so as a buyer i can see this that the shipment number is coming what were details i entered as a supplier i can see that over here I click on shipment so this will come in in transit because this is not yet received not in my premise but it is still on the way which i am going to receive so this is what the quantity that that is going to come so line status is expected so once we do the receiving then the rest of the graphs will appear receiving delivery and invoice based upon also uh, like so there are lot many functionalities are there even i can create the invoice which will just uh, make task easier for ap people like uh, ap team i can create the invoice from here I have not set up the bank details over here, but I can set up like to which bank account I need the payment. I can enter the invoice number, invoice date. So once the goods are delivered, uh, it will show me the list of uh, values over here. Like the box will be shown. Uh, let's first complete the receiving part, and then we'll continue with the supplier portal. So as we know, it is uh, integrated with the uh, different stages like uh, order, shipment, receiving, and then invoicing. So these are all the features that we can use from the supplier point of view. So I can view the active RFQ that are going on from your side. Like if Quadrant has published any RFQs, I can see that if any auctions RFQ that is going on. And even I can request for a change in a purchase order. If something is not as per my expectations, then uh, I can surely go and edit the PO from the supplier side. And again, that PO will go for the approval cycle. So whatever the approval that has been uh, hierarchy that has been created, so from the supplier side I can create the change order. Again, it's not necessary that we give this privilege to supplier, but this is a facility available if you want that supplier should acknowledge or if even he can create the changes, then we can give this privilege, or else we can just delete the privilege from the rule, so you will not be able to edit the PO. But this is something even if he edits the PO. this will go into the approval cycle as of now it is auto approval so it will not matter uh, everything will be auto just click on submit and so you can see this change order is pending <coughs> so anything uh, you want to ask in supplier portal one quick question uh, regarding this uh, okay. URL is still same even for outside yeah, yeah. supplier. Yes, yes, yes. URL will be the same. The only thing is they will have their own separate credentials. So URL will be the same even for the suppliers. Is there any option if uh, we want to change this? What URL? Yeah, I mean this is our internal uh, production instance. If we don't want to share this instead of, uh, is there any option somewhere? Uh, no, but. Uh, supplier portal is hosted on the same uh, URL, so I mean there is no such provision that we have option to change the URL. I mean it's on the same instance. Okay, just just us. Yes, yes, sure. Yeah, <coughs> uh, is this uh, different from uh, partner portal? Uh, sorry, which portal? 
partner partner is there a, you know is this is a partner portal or is it uh, is it uh, different uh partner portal i've never heard about it what is it partner portal is uh, you uh, you know let's say if you do you do have a business partner you know he can mm-hmm. access certain part of your uh, system right for uh, their own purpose so if you know i mean and you know i understand that uh, supplier is uh, you know i mean different entity but uh, my 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 question is can they be part of or act like a partner <clears throat> uh, i'm not sure on the partner portal how it gives the access and all um, but over here like uh, the supplier id which is created from this uh, supplier area uh, it will only be like a supplier only be able to access uh, his own limited it will have access to his own limited uh, area uh, okay so but he is just limited to see whatever you showed on the screen right it's on the purchasing yes, and uh, yes 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 you, even if you give no permission to, permission to yeah yeah mm-hmm. yeah there is no provision that he can access the same privilege like employee he will only be able not to employ i mean to say limited uh, employee limited employee yes, so yes, there is yes. no no for uh, for example uh, you know in our business we have uh, something called dealers so <clears throat> we have to make payments to the dealers but uh, you know they are not real suppliers but we have to they, they act like a supplier the reason is we have to make a payment so you have to make payments to them so do you create po on their name or it is like how no we don't create a po but we make a payment invoice payment so the way it like uh, you know you see get a uh, 100 dollars you give a uh, 30 dollar to them it is like an agent in between right yeah so if you see it. this uh, yeah, yeah so in that case i mean there is an option like a create invoice without po so they can create stand alone invoice like if they are the mediator okay. they can select their own details and, and they can create the invoice so again this invoice will be submitted to you guys and the ap team will be getting this things for the so approval can go either way. So it, it can be yes. either way like you know we can initiate the because we know how much we are going to pay we can initiate the pay, uh, invoices or okay. they can uh, create the invoices so it can go either way so they can just record the invoices. correct even they can view the invoices and view the payments right yeah. Thank you.